Oh my god, time for a new vlog. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fairly good. Just got done uh, making my new RuneScape video. Uh, it's a weekly news video. It will be uploaded. Well, you know, I'll upload the video first and I'll upload this vlog. So annotation down here, or you guys can check your subscription box, whichever floats your boat. What floats my boat is fletching, because I just hit 83 mil experience. Did some fletching while I was, you know, waiting for my video to render. And some people, they say it was kind of, you know, having multiple, com multiple computers is kind of retarded. Well, first of all, I think you're kind of jealous because I can render a video on my laptop and I can play RuneScape on my desktop. So therefore, I don't have to be as alright. When I render a video in fucking Vegas, it lags the shit out of my computer. Like, I can't even play RuneScape. I can't even watch a YouTube video. Because everything, the whole laptop energy, is going into rendering a video. So therefore, uh, you know, got this, you have multiple computers, might as well use them. But yeah, I'm 83 mil fletching experience. Um, Dungeoneering, I am 26,000 experience away from 74. I'll probably have 75 by tonight because I'm doing our large dungeons. Reason why I didn't get 74 last night was because um, just uh, some team troubles. Like a few, a few of my team members had to leave early. Well, one had a power outage because I, I, I got nothing. He just had a fucking power outage. And then the others, they had to go. So they didn't only got to do like two large dungeons. Which I still got, like, I think, like, 85k from both of them. Oh, no, combined, you know. Not 85k from each one, but combined. So tonight, most likely going to be 75 Dungeoneering, which will be kind of cool. Just five more levels, but then it's really, like, another 700,000 experience, which kind of sucks. Alright, guys, but today I want to talk about getting 99 Crafting, which is requested by one of you guys. Although... The person who wants me to talk about Gay 99 Crafting did not leave their RuneScape username. You want me to talk about something, please leave your fucking RuneScape username. It's a free shout out, alright? But if you don't leave me your RuneScape username, then I'm just going to call you Harry Ballsack. So, Harry Ballsack wanted me to talk about getting 99 Crafting. For whatever reason, maybe Harry Ballsack is getting 99 Crafting, I don't know. But, the way I did crafting, and I have a crafting guide, alright? It's on my main channel under playlists like Guides 299. But the way that I did crafting is that I did bowstrings from level 50 to level 85. From level 1 to 50, I just did like pot potteries and stuff like that. Didn't really do so, you know, bowstrings until level 50, I remember. But yeah, I did bowstrings from level. 50 to 85. Now, that might seem kind of unbelievable, which it really kind of is, if you do not do them in sets. Now, what I mean by that is that I didn't go from 50 to literally 85. That's kind of, like, insane a little bit. What I did was I, before I got 99 fletching, I did 100k. So then, you know, it's 100k. And you spin 1.4k an hour. Oh yeah, and by the way, guys, uh, use the Lumbridge Bank. Don't go to Sarah's Village and do it there for whatever fucking reason. I see a whole bunch of uh, Wee Womps at Sarah's Village spinning bowstrings. And I literally go up there and I'm like, Hey, you fucking numbnuts, go and spin at Lumbridge Castle. It is a hell of a lot faster. Because in one hour at Sarah's Village, you can only spin about like 900 bowstrings. So you spend like an extra 500 bowstrings at Lumbridge Castle. So you need to go there. So I did 100k before fletching, did 100k after fire making, then did 100k after fishing. Somewhat how I'm like doing fletching. See how I'm, I'm going to 85 mil, then after I get 99 construction, I'll go to 100 mil. And then after 99 agility, uh, I feel like maybe 120 mil and so forth and so forth. That's how you need to do this. Um, but otherwise, playing for four hours a day, doing 1.4K an hour, it's not so bad. 
But then after course 85, I did gold amulets by go using gold bars and making gold amulets. And, so, and I sold them the GE, which right now they're really um, shitty money. But that's mainly because gold bars are like worth like absolute shit. But when I did them, gold bar, you, I actually made some money. Not as much as not as much money as I did from bowstrings, but I made some decent amount of money. So that's really how I got 99 crafting. Now you guys want to spend a lot of money on 99 crafting, then you do D um, like D high bodies and shit like that, black D high bodies. Spend a whole lot of money on that. I've had friends who got 99 crafting in literally about um, like less than two days because they literally sat on the game just fucking sitting at a bank and all they did was just do dehide bodies and spend a whole lot of money. And then I said, how does it feel to lose a whole lot of money but get the 99 in two days? Me, I made a whole lot of money and I didn't lose any money, but I did lose about maybe three months. But then again, I had fun. And as long as you guys are having fun, then there's really nothing wrong with it. But that's my down and dirty guide to 99 crafting. Hope it helps you out, dirty ball sack. Not really, or hairy ball sack. There you go. I forgot who I was talking to. Hairy ball sack. Uh, uh, but like I said, hope this guide helps you out. But guys, I'll be on RuneScape for a few hours tonight. Maybe, uh, depends. Depends if I want to go out to get food. But I probably don't, because I'm just kind of tired. I kind of want to get 75 tonight. Aiming for 75 Dungeoneering tonight, hopefully. But otherwise, I'll probably see some of you guys on my farming run. I see more and more of you motherfuckers every single day, so it's kind of cool. Meeting new people is always good, like I said before. But right now, I want to go my email address, asknamorite at yahoo.com. Do not drink too many yoohoos, otherwise you'll get fucked up. That's my disclaimer 101. First hooba hooba question. Yeah, there it is. Hey, Nightmare, I was just wondering whether you knew that in Without Me by N Eminem, there is the lyrics, TP for my bunghole. I'm guessing he took it from Beavis and Butthead. Do you know about this? Thanks. RS name, Woshai. Um, I don't listen to Eminem, uh, but if this is in the lyrics, then that's fucking hilarious. Um... Yeah, I mean, Beavis and Butthead did start TP for my bunghole, so he would have obviously gotten it from Beavis and Butthead if it was in the lyrics. But I'm not sure, because I don't listen to his music. So, but I will go and check, check this shit out, actually. Ah! Next Hooba Hooba question. Hey, Knight, first of all, I love your vid. Second of all, how many hours a day did you play to get 99 mining? Question mark, question mark, question mark. All right, so username, chaotix101. Uh, three, four hours, sometimes on the weekends, I believe, like, maybe five or six. Every hour down there at Living Rock Caverns with a D pickaxe is, uh, 65,000 experience. So, you know, the more hours you spend down there, the more experience you're going to get. But otherwise, guys, it's really all I got to blog about today. Um, if you got anything for me, leave it in a nasty, dirty little comment. Also, let me know, because I'm kind of curious. How many of you motherfuckers have ever spun bowstrings? Because I'm pretty sure everyone on RuneScape has had the experience of spinning bowstrings. And it is just like, the I think one of the most well-known money-making things out there is spinning bowstrings. And I'm kind of surprised that you can still make a ton of money from doing so. So let me know in a nasty dirty little comment about that. But otherwise, guys, like I said, I'll be on RuneScape for a couple hours tonight. I'll see a lot of you guys probably on. Um, although, like, I haven't really been talking too much in my clan chat for the past, like, couple days. And uh, it's kind of, you know, you guys should kind of already know why. It's because I'm dungeoneering. It's not like I'm doing other stuff on my computer and I can, you know, reply here and there. It's mainly because I'm fucking shit up in dungeoneering. So, if I don't reply to you, don't get discouraged. It's just because I'm killing shit in Dungeoneering. Or in the dungeons. Training Dungeoneering. Playing Dungeoneering, training it, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's a fucking minigame. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.